Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number first. Uh, in question number first, we have to find the unit digit of these numbers when squared. Uh, before solving this, uh, one thing we must know that any number when squared or this or this. The answer, or you can say, the unit digit of the answer will depend only on the unit digits. Means when zero eight is squared is sixty four, so the unit digit will depend on eight squared. When twelve is squared, one forty four. Means the unit digit will only depend on the unit digit number which is squared. Same case with this. When this number is squared, the new number unit digit will only depend on this unit digit. So the square of five is twenty-five. The last digit is five. So here also the unit digit must be five because the square of fifteen is two twenty-five. Same logic can be applied here. When you have to find the square of eighty-one, so It would become a long number, but its unit digit will only depend, or you can say, will depend on this digit. So the square of one is one. So the unit digit of this number will be one. Same case with this. When this number is squared, its unit digit will come up to be four. Its unit digit will. Depend on nine, and the square of nine is eighty-one. So the unit digit will become one. Same case with this. Square of three is nine. Square of four is sixteen. But the, we are considering only the unit digit, so the unit digit must be six. Same case with this number. When this number is square, and we get a new number, its unit digit. Will be forty nine means unit digit will be nine. Same case with this. Uh, unit digit will be four here. Unit digit will be zero because the square of zero is zero. This would be six and this would be five. Then all the numbers are square. Uh, one another case or another finding we know that when one is squared will always give one means the square of one is one square of five is five square of six is six square of zero is zero and when these digits are multiplied with any power means when we have to find the unit digit will remain the same irrespective irrespective of what power are you finding of these digits thank you